Um, next up we have Dr Fiona Kerslake, who's the Head of Agronomy for Bitwise Agronomy. Thanks Fiona. Thanks Nikki. Um, so Bitwise Agronomy, basically in a nutshell, it's using GoPros on tractors. So what growers can do is they can take a, a GoPro, which you can purchase anywhere yourself, we're not dealers or distributors or anything like that, um, just use a ram mount and mount it on the tractor and off you go. So they, what the growers do is they take a video of the crop um, and what they, then they bring it back, take out the SD card and upload it to our Greenview platform. And we use computer vision to analyse the video and we can count and measure all the different parameters of the crop that are important. Well, not all of them, most of them. So the kind of parameters that we're looking at uh, so after pruning, if you want to look at your cane counts, cordons, uh, node counts, you can go through and take a video after pruning so that you can get some of that pruning quality assessment. It's also a lot of people like to start using it as a first point of yield estimation. So if you've got some historical fruitfulness or bunch weights, things like that, you can start calculating that early season yield out just after pruning. So the next point in the season that people often use this is after the shoots have started to come out. And so we can start doing uh, early season shoot counts for bud purse percentages, et cetera, and have a look at the variability that Andy was just talking about across the vineyards. Uh, as the shoots uh, begin to like close over, it's a bit harder for us to analyse them individually uh, from a video. So what we then move to doing is actually measuring the length of the shoots. Again, this is a really important component for variability. So if you can see the difference in the canopy height as you move along the row and across the blocks. Um, a lot of people have told us that they're really interested in inflorescence counts. Uh, they say they're really interested and we're like, that's great. If you capture the imagery, then we can work with that and, and develop it. We haven't received a lot of data for that time point. So um, we're still um, very much in a, a exploration phase and in inflorescence counts. But if people are really interested and motivated to take the videos then, then that's something that we can develop. But we do get a lot of um, imagery in for bunch counts as well. So that's another point that we can do during the season. Um, the beauty of the GoPro is that um, the, uh, the grower owns it, so they can take it and they can take the imagery whenever they like during the season. A lot of the times we get asked, when do I need to take the imagery? Um, I'm one of those people who says, oh, well, what do you need the data for? Um, what's the purpose of taking the data? What information are you going to get out of it? What decision are you going to base on it? So we're not prescriptive. Um, uh, the cost has come up a lot uh, in the previous talks, so we have a, an annual subscription. So we're doing that to try and encourage people to take as much data as they like during the season and so that it's not a barrier, say, if you go past your five um, image captures during the season and you have to pay more or anything like that. Um, and so our prices start at uh, $2,000 for an annual subscription and then there's a $3,500 and a $5,000 tier and that's just about additional features and functionality. Um, with the data that's been brought up a few times today as well, so we provide uh, all the data back to the grower. Yes, we use the, um, the data collected to make the algorithm smarter and to make them more accurate and so that they perform better but the data all goes back to the grower. Uh, the data is provided in two forms, so it can come back to you in a CSV file. If you already have a database or some other system that you're using, that's a really simple uh, uh, format for the data to come to you for ingestion into those systems. So someone like Hans Loder at Penley Estate is building his own system, that's all he wants. Other growers would prefer that the data comes to them in more of an information format. So that's where we've been working uh, on Power BI reports so that there's a, bit, a little bit more functionality in that, etc. But we also map out the data as well. So you've kind of got that granularity, then we've got some of the aggregated data, and then we've got the map data as well. And so that all comes back to you. We generally find that people are using us um, generally for one of two reasons, sometimes both. Uh, it's really that yield estimation piece and whether that's earlier in the season or later in the season and other decisions maybe outside of the vineyard but like buying or purchasing fruit etc um, getting that information early uh, is quite beneficial but then also the other cohort is really around managing variability 
some who just want to understand the variability and work with it, but quite a few people who are trying to manage that variability out of the block, at the block level, uh, so that they can start hitting those uh, quality targets that they're after. Uh, so that's basically Bitwise in a nutshell. So we've got a stall down in the tent that everyone's been talking about, and so we've got some of our reports up there, et cetera, that you can come and have a look at. Um, and then we also would love people who are interested. Uh, we can do one-on-ones via Zoom, uh, so we can book those really easily for you if you like. Uh, so just come and see Belinda Bramley or myself, and uh, we can organise those for you to run you through them. Thanks.